Tommy's planter looks incredible. It's really going to be the centerpiece of this garden. It looks beautiful. It came out great. Mm. So uh, what's all the stuff in the back of the truck? Oh, that stuff. So I brought plants for different themes for different garden beds. Since there's going to be four different beds, I thought it'd be fun to have a theme for each of them. So right. one, butterfly plants, mm -hmm. plants that attract butterflies. Mm -hmm. Another one, I got a bunch of herbs. So we could maybe put them in Tommy's planter. I don't know. We'll, would, we'll let the girls great. decide, yeah? Yeah, that would look great. Yeah, and then I uh, also got uh, landscape fabric, which is a weed barrier. We we'll put at the bottom of the planters to deter weeds from coming up at the bottom. Mm -hmm. And then also brought bags of, it's a mixture of soil compost and fertilizer, all organic, but just to get anything started from whether it's vegetables, herbs, or or cut flowers. Okay, so all these plants are really going to take off once we get them in the oh, ground. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Well, I just spoke to my sister. They're out there in front of the town hall. They're waiting for us. My niece is there, all the Girl Scouts, the leaders. I think we just got to show up and get started. Your niece is there? She's I there. cannot wait to meet her. Oh, it's going to be a blast. If she's anything like you, you right. know. Um, but yeah, their energy is going to be fantastic, and I really can't wait to work with them. That's going to be great. Yeah. Hi, Andrea. Hey, Nate. Good hey, Jen. You. How are you? Good yeah, to see you. Good to see you. These are our troop leaders, Jill and Tara. Nice Hi. to meet you. Hi, how are you? you guys. We got your awesome video and we're very excited to be here. Yeah, loved it. Why don't we walk through, check out the beds that you have, tell us, you know, what you want to change and what you want to do maybe. So these are our garden beds. They were built about 10 years ago by another troop. Mm -hmm. We took them over about three years ago. And as you can see, the weeds have since taken over and the wood is extremely splintered. Well, what I see, there's a lot of good perennials and I'm thinking we excavate them all out. Yeah. We could divide them, split them up or give some away. Yep. And then what do you think? I think we get a fresh start. I brought some red cedar with me. Um, we'll reframe the beds and um, make them our own. That's right. great. So are the girls ready to work? They are. All right, let's get the girls and the tools and do it. Started. Okay, girls, let's go start with this planter up front. Uh, what weeds are we supposed to pick? Well, we're going to pick everything out of here, but we'll take the weeds in one batch and then the perennials in the other batch. What so which ones the... are the perennials and which ones are we seeing? Very good question. So I see a lot of perennials in this bed and these are called daylilies. And what we'll do is dig around them and pop them up. And then this one is a geranium, but it looks like all these weeds are right in between. So we could either use our hands or use shovels, okay? How do we pull it out with our hands? Well, see the thing with the perennials, we definitely need a shovel for that because you want to get a good, you want to get all the roots that are underneath. And then we pop it out and we put it to the side. Do we pull from the bottom of those weeds or do we pull from the top of them? That is a very good question. Because with weeds, you want to get the roots out. So you want to Yes, so I'll demonstrate. It's kind of therapeutic. I think it's fun. Uh, so you could just use your hands and then just, just pull, pull, and you try to get all the root system up. Should we just start? With yes, go for it. Uh, why are weeds bad? They're not necessarily bad, but yeah, sometimes... Sometimes they make the plants die. Yeah, sometimes they compete with the, all the nutrients in the soil, and then they start to choke the good plants. So they kind of invade your garden. I like growing strawberries and watermelon. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. Oh my God, we got it! Yes! Got it. Look at you guys! Yeah. Awesome! Careful that show. Put it on the blue, yes! Okay, Look at you guys! Aw, I love it. Would you like that? Let's get started with this corner box right here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna work it in there and we're just gonna pry these away. Now, there's gonna be nails that are gonna come out with these boards, so we wanna be really careful. All right, so that's one. Let's work away this way. Perfect. <laughs> Give it a pry. There you go, good job. All right, watch out for those nails. Nice job, Audrey. Wanna grab this? All right, nice and safe, thank you. Keep wiggling them like a tooth. Keep wiggling, wiggling, wiggling. It'll pop out. Good job. Hold it and jump on both of it. Yeah, can you, and then put your other foot there and then jump. That's so good. Pull that way. This side's already loose, so all you need to do is one side. Keep pulling, keep pulling. Nice job, there you go. Perfect, good job. 
Let's hammer out those old rusty nails so the boards can be disposed of safely. A little bit more, big swing, big swing, big swing. Very good. Two, three. Oh, oh, careful. <laughs> we're going to start putting these boxes together. Now, I already cut everything to length and I pre drilled everything. What we're gonna do is make two boxes, one big one and one little one. We'll put the big one in first, then we'll stack it with the smaller one. All right, we're gonna use some three inch stainless steel screws. These screws are really good because they won't rust or rot. All right, there we go. So let's wiggle it around. What we need to do is we need to check and make sure it's square. So we have just under nine feet. So now you go to that corner. Pop back for me. All right. All right, so we're stronger than nine feet. So we know that ne this needs to shrink this way to make that side grow a little bit longer. All right. All right, a little bit of a push. We only need to pick up about an eighth. All right, now go the other way, other corner. All right, nine feet, that's it. Now we're square. Now go ahead and pull that. Perfect, good job. So we just want to level it out. Yep, put it right around that corner. Nice. So what we'll do now is we'll secure it to those corners. All right, now let's put Tommy and Kevin's beautiful planter in place. Uh, that looks so good, Nathan. I love it. Tommy did a great job. Yeah. Hi, Nathan. Hi, hey. Jen. Hi. And we are back with another group of Girl Scouts. These yes. are our daisies. Hey, everyone. Hi, daisies. What do you guys think? Yeah. Awesome. Good. We're not done yet, though. So since there's four planters, I was thinking that we could have a theme for each one. So I was thinking butterfly garden, mm -hmm. herb garden, Sunflower garden mm -hmm. and random one. Rando, totally yeah. random. You guys get to pick whichever plant that you want to put in it, okay? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's get started. To get started, we need to fill in the rest of the beds with garden soil. Normally, I'd put a layer of landscape fabric underneath, but since these existing beds already have landscape fabric, we can skip this step. Doesn't that feel so good? So I'm gonna pull this one out. And then, so can I put this one right here? Yeah. This is called a butterfly bush. Oh, that's perfect. You guys, this is looking so good. See, no one else gets to eat theirs. We get to eat ours. Perfect. So these are mammoth sunflowers, and you're supposed to plant them one inch deep. We'll put them all in, and at the end, we'll put the soil over the top. Believe it or not, these tiny, tiny little seeds are gonna get huge. Perfect. Give that one a good, good soaking. All right, girls, what do you think? Awesome! Uh, well, thank you so much for everything today. You guys were a huge help. And I really liked how you put everything and placed everything in the beds. You did a great job planting. Jen and Nate, we can't thank you enough for coming out and doing this for us. Mm -hmm. And when you see Tommy and Kevin, can you say thank you for us as well for the herb garden in the middle? We, we will, we will. Absolutely, they did a beautiful job as well. They did. So if you've got questions, keep them coming because we'd love to hear from you. Until next time, I'm Jen Nawada. And I'm Nathan Gilbert for Ask This Old House. So who's in charge of watering?
Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.